What do railroads and roller coasters have in common? When a park in Sandusky, Ohio built its latest, greatest roller coaster, it looked to a steam train for inspiration. Welcome to the Cedar Point Amusement Park. Leave your stomach at the door. This is the roller coaster capital of the world. Here you'll find 17 of the fastest, tallest, scariest coasters, along with dozens of other rides that swing, spin, twirl, and plunge at thrilling speeds. Cedar Point is on a peninsula in Lake Erie. It's located midway between Cleveland, Ohio and Toledo. Uh, and it's jutted out on into Lake Erie. It's 364 acres and uh, encompasses uh, this entire land, surrounded by water on three sides. It's got a very unique uh, atmosphere, uh, named for the cedar trees that grew here, um, and home, obviously, to uh, the most rides and roller coasters anywhere on Earth. But Cedar Point has another claim to fame. It's also the second oldest amusement park in North America. The traditional rides of the Midway are here, along with another class of ride, the steam train. Other parks have trains, but Cedar Point is one of the few parks in the world to be running genuine coal-fired steam locomotives. Most amusement parks don't have live steam. A lot of them have, you know, the diesel type uh, engines that look like steam engines, but they're not. Um, but the, the parks that have steam locomotives are, are a little bit more special because it takes a lot to maintain them, uh, a, a lot to run them, and of course it's something that the families enjoy when they ride them. The Cedar Point Amusement Park got its start back in 1870 as a beer garden and bathhouse, accessible only by a 25 cent steamboat ride. The park expanded as a public resort and playground until the 1950s when developers threatened to fill the area with private homes. Uh, the state of Ohio and residents in the area wanted to prevent that from happening because it was a resort that guests came to to enjoy the beach um, and to take day trips over here and stay at the hotel and things of that nature. Public outcry saved the park and new attractions were built to expand its appeal, including the Cedar Point and Lake Erie Railroad. In 1963, this engine, nicknamed Albert, was the first of six steam locomotives brought here to run an excursion train through the park. Albert was built in 1910 to haul sugarcane in Louisiana. While the engine is currently out of service, it remains the personal favorite of Randy Cotry, a full-time engineer at Cedar Point. Oh, Albert's my, always been my favorite. It's a 1910 Davenport. It's right now on display on a trail. Um, it's 260. It's just a little older. I don't know. It's a plantation engine from Louisiana. Just always the when I first started, it's the engine we ran quite heavy. And it's just the engine I enjoyed running. Currently, the two engines that run most of the daily excursions are known as Myron and Judy. They were built in the 1920s for mining companies, and both have undergone major work to keep them up to speed during the busy summer season. Both engines are Vulcans. They were built in 1922 and 1923. Uh, they were rebuilt in 1990 by Shop Services in Iowa. The last couple years we've gone over and stripped them down to the boilers and uh, reworked them as far as uh, new tubes and the boiler shells were checked for thickness and, uh, and rejacketed. So um, been pretty good engines for us. At 10 a.m. the park is open for the day and the steam train is ready for boarders. For Randy, this is the part that makes all the hard work worthwhile. Here at Cedar Point, over three million guests visit us every year, and the train is, of course, one of our most popular attractions. And the reason for that is it, it, it gives guests an option from going to the front of the park to the back of the park. But the train is more than just a way to get to and from the midway. Along this scenic two-mile excursion, the roller coasters become part of the scenery. At times, the train travels right alongside the coaster tracks, giving passengers a unique view of the ride in action. In 2007, the Cedar Point Amusement Park introduced its 17th roller coaster, the Maverick, a ride that plummets from dizzying heights and zips through hairpin turns at speeds reaching 70 miles per hour. The inspiration for this high-tech screen machine? The classic steam locomotive.
The Maverick roller coaster was themed to the Old West, and part of the Old West, of course, is steam locomotives and steam trains. So we wanted to reflect that era in the trains on this coaster, and you'll see that the front of the trains have cow catchers on them that are that are themed to an old steam train. It's got rivets along the side, so it looks like real steel. And we wanted to kind of capture that Old West feel in all of those trains, so all six of those trains have that theming. As the roller coasters of Cedar Point find new ways to defy gravity, the classic steam engines of the Cedar Point and Lake Erie Railroad continue their daily excursions through the park, as they have for nearly a century. Their mere presence is a rare thrill indeed. But here at Cedar Point, we've taken great pride in having these locomotives and having this railroad here. And it's a tradition that started, you know, uh, back in the 50s and will continue uh, as long as we can maintain it. It is unusual, uh, but uh, we're fortunate enough to be one of those few that has it.